Uh, what's going on? Uh, so today I uh, just opening up for the season. I found what I think to be one of the best malignant hearts, at least early game for the Necromancer. It is this one right here. Walking near a corpse automatically activates the equipped corpse skill every second. Now it will do reduce reduce damage, but the damage from corpse explosion isn't what we're looking at. We're looking at the corpse tendril. Obviously, you pop it and it will pull them in. Now, what what happens with this is it does not consume its cooldown. So you will still have it on cooldown whenever you want, and it will just keep popping whenever you kill the enemies. So I'm going to show you in this cellar right here uh, just ex exactly how it goes. You know, you kill stuff, and it's just going to pop like that. As you see, it doesn't consume the cooldown. Now, let's go into the cellar and show you how it works in mass quantities. Uh, this is just going to provide massive CC and massive stun and great vulnerability. And that's why I think it's just going to be one of the best malignant hearts in the entire game. Uh, spanning all characters. So, in this whole... Are you done with your recording then, or? No, I'm, I'm done. I can cut a, I can cut stuff out there. I'm just on the other one. Well, I'll stay muted. <laughs> So as you see, the second we get a kill, and then it just pops, it just rolls and rolls and rolls. Uh, we get multiple corpse tendrils uh, before its cooldown would even be over. And that's without me even touching it. I have not used the actual skill itself at all this whole time, and it just keeps consistently procking. It allows you to stun the whole area, makes them all vulnerable. Overall, just one of the best malignant hearts that I have found so far, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.